I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior Jesus Christ. Morning, windmill. Guys, welcome back to the channel. We have tractors serviced. We've got uh, most of the hay hauled. Still have to get our air drills ready. Got to get our land roller serviced. Clean seed. Take delivery of the, our canola seed. Um, get some chemical here and stuff like that. Get our spray trailer all rigged up. So let's go get all that done. Uh, if you guys uh, haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the videos, well, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down and tell me why you don't like them. Don't just give me a thumbs down and leave me hanging. So let's get to work. I know, windmill. I think it's crazy too. Who wouldn't like these videos? Let's go hook up to the air drill. Well, since it's still a little bit uh, frozen out and cold, let's get the other air drill hooked up. It's right in the yard. Well, the guys are working on the air drill today because it's nice outside. They're taking these old rusty manifolds off. This is what the fertilizer comes to from the cart back there and gets down to the shanks. They also are being supervised by our girls. Hi, Daddy! So they'll be working on this today. They're almost done. A few other things this drill needs. We need to put new tires across the front. These have one years on it. I mean, good year tires on it and uh, they're all cracked and leaking and need to be replaced. So here's one of the old ones and you can just see how everything's getting rusty. These hoses are really stuck in there hard now. So we're gonna get all this new. That'll be really nice. So when we have any issues, any plugs or whatever, everything will work a lot better. I'll show you a new one here quick. And there's what they're supposed to look like. Every one of these is numbered on the tower. So it matches, you can kind of see the old number one here. That goes to the number one shank here, which is the outside reel. They think of everything. Got the real farm hand here. Took it off, took plants off all by herself. That's easy. <laughs> yeah, how's this going though?
morning windmill. Seed cleaner's coming today. The guy that normally cleans our seed is on his way over here after an hour or so. But I gotta go get a dirty truck dumped in a bin because we don't have enough room for more screens in there. So let's go get the old beast running. <laughs> forecasted didn't think it was gonna actually happen though we did finish cleaning seed last night the derm is done got done around 10 30 last night didn't film any of that having a camera around people it's just awkward oh here comes somebody <laughs> towers they all got replaced and our loads are all done ready to go now we got to come up for a little bit of a spring return on our air cylinders for our sectional control they have updated these cylinders with the newer drills but these ones they they don't have an extra internal wiper like the new ones do and they get stuck out sometimes with air pressure and they won't return so we're going to mount this up here hook the spring on and hopefully that will solve our problem with a little extra spring tension to always re-engage them. So we're just trying to figure out our length and everything, our angles, and then we'll start manufacturing these and assemble. So this is how we're going to rig up, I think. We got a pretty good tension on our spring. It's working good to snap it back into place and we'll just kind of streamline everything a little bit better. We'll punch holes with the iron worker and bend them in the press make a nice little uh, finished product.
Well, we finished, finished cleaning Durham last night. We dumped those trucks this morning. Jerry came back about mid-morning, got everything set up here to start cleaning peas. We are on the last truckload now, and that should be all of our seed clean that we're going to need to clean on our farm. The rest of the stuff has been purchased off farm, and that's what we're going to use for the rest of our crop. It's all ready to go now. We're gonna take and dump those trucks into there. From there. Last load. Lucy. What's up? Huh? What are you doing? Caught any pheasants yet? Huh? Did you catch any pheasants yet? Well, Kevin's getting all those brackets he built put on like that. Perfect. We're testing out the uh, conveyor on the Seedmaster after he got all rusty all winter, and Warren here was playing 500 with himself. Oh, now you're not going to do it? Yeah. Well, it just takes a while. We're at the video. And there comes the glove. Any second now. <laughs> All right, so this truck is in the shop now that we're done cleaning peas. We uh, just changed airbags on the sleeper because they were leaking. They're all dry rotted out and cracked. Got that air leak fixed. Went to go change the motor on the rear trap, or at least just figure out what's going on with it. Hit the button, it worked. Gremlins fixed that for us. Also got a few other things in the cab that need work on it. Some electrical that's not connected for the thermometers for outside. And a couple other things in the cab that just need checking over. And new steer tires. That one's flat on the bottom. We'll get some that are aired up all the way around. That's about it.
Bearings are all cleaned up, hub is washed off, brake clean, blown out, dried up, all ready to go. Seal, need to put some oil on here, drive that in, and then put it all back together. Nick said it was right. Misses working on trucks. Nice. <clears throat> The rear axle tires are a little worn out, so if we have them all off, we're gonna throw four new tires on there. And since we're gonna have wheels off, tires off wheels, we're gonna polish, of course. 